<clears throat> my inspiration was that we had nothing else to do. And see, I was born in South Carolina, and this is all we had to do. We didn't know anything about any other sports. So when we came home from school, this is what we did. And back then, we were making our own baseballs then. Well, actually, I didn't stay in the South very long. I, I, I left South Carolina, I guess, when I was about 10. And I went to New Jersey because my grandmother died. And I went to New Jersey, and uh, I was the only black kid in the whole school where I was. So, you know, I, I, segregation never bothered me because down south it was all black. When I first went to New Jersey, it was all white. So, you know, hey, it didn't bother me one way or the other. Segregation is something that never worried me one way or the other. So, you know, if you want to act stupid, that's your business. That don't make me stupid because you're stupid. Oh, uh, well, one, Mr. Robinson, Mr. Campanella, uh, Hank Aaron, who played with me, uh, and there's one gentleman that that I miss dearly, very, very dear, that who was very dear to me was Mr. Buck O'Neill, and uh, Hank, and the, you know, the, I, I I met so many nice gentlemen that helped me along the way. A lot of people don't know that um, sandlot ball is a whole lot different from Major League Baseball, and. Uh, for them to be that kind, to help me, I was very pleased with that. And I, in fact, I was thankful. And uh, it helped me to be who I am. Because uh, like Mr. Uh, Page, he helped me with a whole lot of things. And then I had some gentlemen that I played with that uh, had been there for quite a while. They helped me also. So it, it's, it's, it was good. And, and knowing I was good enough to be there, and everything that they were teaching me, I wanted to learn because I wanted to be the best of whatever that I was going to do. Well, actually, you have to want to do this. This is just not something that you can go out there and play at like you play jazz. You can't do that. And if you want to do it, do the best you can at it. And if you don't, you're not going to make it. But uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a thing where it's that you have to be determined to want to do whatever you're doing. If you're driving a truck, be the best truck driver you can be. And it's, it's, it's a thing that, hey, I can do this. And if you put it in your mind, you'll overcome whatever obstacles you got. Yeah. Be all that you can be and try as hard as you can to be that and be the best that you can be, wherever, whatever. And if you don't make it the first time, try again. That's if you want to do it. And if you find that you don't want to do it, leave it alone, but try hard. Yeah, I would tell young women really to really learn what they want to do first. And after you learn what you want to do, try hard to do that. And don't let anyone, nobody, tell you what you can't do because you can do anything in the world if you put your mind to it. And it's a great thing to know that you can do something if you want to, really.